when they grow when it grows beyond its own blood supply the visceral fat um starts to starve it becomes hypoxic meaning it's not getting enough oxygen bigger than the amount of blood vessels that are growing in there and now you've got the center of the fat start of oxygen uh, the inflammatory cells start moving in, and now you've got this fat that's outgrown its own blood supply that's now becoming very inflammatory. And because it's packed all throughout your the tube of your body into the suitcase of your body, it's leaking out that inflammation everywhere. So think about it: like if you have a re- neatly packed suitcase, and you're like, I'm, you know, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put some. Uh, uh, lotion and cream, canisters of lotion and cream. I'm going to pack it everywhere in, in between the spaces. Okay, look, uh, uh, Stephen, p- pack a few, but but let's stop right there. And you're no, I'm going to pack like 20 or 30 of them. And you keep on stuffing it. Even though the suitcase is a hard suitcase and you can you can put a lot in there, now you're starting to press on the, the clothing. You're going to scrunch up your pants. And here in the body, you're scrunching up your organs. Now, why don't we make the, one of those tubes uh, uh, of, uh, of cream, let's break one of them open. Now it's leaking. All right. And that's what's happening when your fat is so inflamed, so inflamed, it starts to leak inflammation. Now imagine that that cream, uh, starts to leak out into the interstitials of your suitcase. 